Chinatown's annual Lunar New Year Festival and Parade is back this weekend, and many are hopeful it will help bring some life back to the neighborhood. KPI X5's Max Darrow is in San Francisco's Chinatown, where they are ready to celebrate the Year of the Tiger. Max? San Francisco's Chinatown will be extra busy this weekend with the Chinese New Year Festival and Parade returning for the first time since the pandemic struck. To many, the return of this celebration is cause for celebration. Chinatown's Grant Avenue is slowly getting busier. But at times, it's still quiet enough to have a sidewalk all to yourself. Last two years with pandemics, we will really suffer. Edward Sue is the chairman of the Chinatown Merchants United Association of San Francisco. He tells us there's a lot of excitement surrounding February 19th. It's mean a lot to us. The return of the Chinese New Year Festival and Parade. That's very really important to us. We're telling people, you know, we're all opening right now. Along the waterfront, people put the finishing touches on the various colorful and ornate floats that will be featured in Saturday's parade. Historically, it's been the biggest parade celebrating the Lunar New Year outside of Asia. Like the Year of the Tiger, this is a bold celebration. William G. has been involved with the parade for two zodiac cycles, or around 24 years. He's excited for the traditional components and new ones they have in store, but also eager to share a message of resilience. This year's parade means a lot to the community and to us. Um, we are proud to be able to bring this event back. There will be free cable car and muni rides and free garage parking for the celebration. Sue hopes people will take advantage and enjoy the celebration. It's important for businesses' bottom lines, but also to renew a sense of community. Not only spending money, celebration together. Okay, that's very really important because I believe spending money, sure, we love to, but one thing, it joined together, celebration together. It means a lot of things to you and to us. In San Francisco, Max Darrow, KPIX 5. Okay, free parking, but if you're planning to go to the parade tomorrow, there's some street closures you're going to need to know about to maneuver. The parade starts 530 Market and 2nd Street ends at Columbus between Pacific and Washington. There's also a two-day Chinese New Year community fair near Grant Avenue. Street closures start today. Those include Market and Geary near Union Square and, of course, parts of the Financial District.